Hello Gators, this is 10-1 Arcs Sectors, Day 3. I can find the sector area of a circle. Let's talk about the area of a circle. And there is only one formula, area equals pi r squared. Let's go ahead and practice. So area is equal to pi r squared is a formula. And we'll just go ahead and put uh, r in, which is 8. And then so the answer is 64 pi. Now this is area, so you're going to say inches squared. This is an exact answer. So if I ask for exact, you leave it in, in pi. Let me go ahead and give you the approximation as well. And the approximation is about 201.1 inches squared. And that is a rounded number. Let's go ahead and see how we use a diameter. And this diameter, oh, we want to find the diameter, and we're looking, and we have the area. So let's go ahead and write out the formula. Area is equal to pi r squared. This time I'm going to put 96 in for the area. And uh, now I'm going to divide both sides by pi. 96 divided by pi equals r squared. And now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And uh, remember, we don't care about the negative one. So uh, r will be equal to the square root of 96 over pi. And the radius is in inches, not square, uh, oh, centimeters. It's in centimeters, not square centimeters, because radius is just a length. Now, if I wanted to find an approximation, I'll just put square root of 96 divided by pi, and I get about 5.5. So this would be 5.5 centimeters. And it's about approximately, because I've just rounded. All right, let's find the area of this region. Um, this is a big circle and a little circle. So the area of the shaded is equal to the area of the big circle. And then what we're taking away is the area of the little circle, small circle. And whatever's left over is this like donut area. Okay, so we're going to do pi r, and our radius, our big radius is 24 squared minus pi, and our little radius is 6 squared. So 24 squared is uh, 576 pi, and then this is 36 pi. And when we subtract a 36 pi, I'm going to get 540 pi. This is an exact answer, and this is area, so it's meters squared. And again, it's an exact. When you leave the pi in, it's exact. If I wanted to get a rounded answer, it would be uh, times uh, that answer, and you put pi in, and I get 1,696.5 meters squared, and that's around it. That's why I put that little squiggly line. That's approximation. Okay, the sector of a circle is uh, a region bound by the two radii and uh, the intercepted arc. So just think of like a, a, a pie, a piece of pie. So that's what a sector is. And a sector is very similar to an arc length. It's ratio of the ratio of the um, central angle to 360 degrees will be the same ratio as the area of the little sector all over the area of the whole circle. So very similar ratio situation, um, but now we're working with area. Okay, so we have two formulas, a uh, proportion formula and a formula that isolates the area. So you can work with either one. I'm going to work with a proportion one first, and then I show you that we're going to get the same answer with the isolated one. All right, so we're looking for the area. Uh, so I'm going to write A because I don't know what that is. And then my uh, uh, area of the whole circle I'm going to put in. And that's the area of the whole circle. And now I'm going to compare it to the degrees um, from the central angle to the intercepted arc. So that would be 80 over uh, 360. I like to reduce as much as possible before I start cross multiplying. 
Um, four goes into there, uh, four goes into here two times, and four goes into here nine times. So my formula, uh, so my uh, equation is really uh, a over a, uh, 16 pi, because that's what 4 squared is, equals 2 over 9, because I have simplified that other thing. Now I'm going to cross multiply, so that's going to be 9a equals 32 pi, and then the area will be equal to 32 pi all over 9. Now this is an area, so we're going to have to write feet squared. Now the approximation will be 32 pi divided by 9, which is 11.2, 11.2 feet squared. Now that's the proportion way. I'm going to show you that uh, you can get the same answer with the isolated way. So we go ahead here, you, you put in all your numbers, you do some reducing, you get the same fraction and you get the same decimal. All right, we'd like to uh, find the area of both sectors, the small one, uh, which is this angle 60 degrees, and then the blue one, which is the bigger one. Uh, I'm going to show you the smaller one, and then I'm going to give you the answer to the bigger one in the next screen. Okay, so I want to figure out the area of the small sector, and I'm going to use this isolated form. So this is uh, area 60. This is the fractional part of the, um, of the circle. I want only one-sixth of the whole area, and then I write pi, and then 9 squared. Now this reduces to one-sixth times, and this is going to be 81 pi. I'm going to put it over 1, so you realize this is the numerator. I can do some reducing because I know the number 3 goes into here two times, and the number three goes into here 27 times. And so then I get 27 pi over two. That's an exact answer. That's in um, inches, so it's inches squared, because area is always in square inches. That's an exact answer. And if I put it in the calculator to get the rounded answer, 27 pi divided by 2 is 42.2 42 inches squared, and that's a rounded answer. Let me show you uh, how the bigger uh, sector works. In the bigger sector, your angle, uh, the number of degrees is different. It's 300, so you want more of the circle. And um, then we end up getting 135 pi over 2, and then we get a bigger area because we're, we, our angle opened up more. All right, let's uh, do a problem where we have to work backwards. And this time I'm being given the area, and I want to find the, um, the radius. Okay, so I'm going to use this format right here, and in the next screen I use this format. Okay, so I know the area, it's 59, and then uh, I don't know what my radius is, so I have to keep with the R. The number of degrees is 40 over 360. And I know this reduces, uh, 40 goes into there uh, once, and 40 goes into there nine times. So I can reduce that. So now this is gonna be 59 times nine, equals pi r squared and then r squared will be equal to i'm going to divide 59 times 9 is um, 531 and i'm dividing by pi now i'm going to take the square root of both sides and i don't want the negative version so r is equal to root 531 over pi. That's an exact answer. That's in um, inches. Remember, uh, radius is inches. Now, that will be approximately, if I put that in the square root, 531 divided by pi. I'm getting around 13. Point zero. I'm rounding to the nearest uh, 10, and that's inches, because radius is not squares, it's a length. 
Now let me show you when I use the other formula. In the other formula, I put the 59 over here. I reduced, and then I got this uh, fraction uh, pi over nine. To get rid of the fraction pi over nine, I went ahead and multiplied by the reciprocal. I still got that fraction I had. And then, oh, it doesn't look like I agree here. Did I not write down the right number? Huh, 59 times nine is, I think I made a mistake here. This should have been 31, 31, 31. And then this would have been 13.0. Um, so I think I hit the wrong button somewhere there. But we, well, we got the same answer. All right, so we've discussed arc length when we have a part of the whole circumference, and we've discussed area where we're getting part of the whole area.